cold case. Where is everybody? Tess has gotta dead. be around somewhere. The fucking mad hunter's gonna be here. Look. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Mad hunter, come on, I'm calling it. I call upon thee, my psychic powers. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. Oh. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up. Oh, I expect her to be in there. But I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything we can six from the trunk and set my sights. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Oh, you're huh. the guy from the boat. We keep bumping into each other, They're don't we? Models. What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. Talk to my boy. What's poppy? You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking oh, for Michael, Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Oh, damn. Sorry. Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so... It's probably safe to interrupt him. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's gonna be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. F. Okay, so we know Tom's in there. Hey, you're making a beeline for me. What's up? Alright, cool. Stripes candy? Never heard of it. I thought you were working at the diner today. No, I switched just because I wanted to get some sleep. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison. I'm also scheduled to work at the store today. Michael, Michael. Oh, they're talking about scheduling. It's so fucking boring. Imagine having a job. I say, being a freelance artist. Ha <laughs> ha. Come in. Come here. Honey, I'm home. It's popping. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I why should be on my way over me? soon. That's really rude, Allison. I thought you loved me. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Can I speak to you? Or do I need to go around? Uh, yeah, I need to go around. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. Hmm. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Why was Tessa at the station? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. We know How that exactly much. did she hear about it that. so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Well, that's everything then. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. I guess that makes sense, but 
We need to know what really happened. You deserve that. And I'm sorry if some folks have been less than helpful, but you've you, got Tom. to give people time. It's been ten Especially years. Especially Tessa. Now, it's been you ten let me know years, if you bro. have any other questions, okay? Hey. Knockity knock. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be don't late. Don't be late. Uh, yeah, same hat. Yep, yep, I'll be on my same way Same hat. In a I'm in love with you, Michael. Please uh, marry me. So I have to break up with kids, my boyfriend so I can marry you. Was there... Uh, Anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Well, Did you ever 20. hear any rumors about our mother? 20 like, what? who her father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. This is now Mamma Mia. 20 years, fuck. Ooh, phone. But look, I... Worm? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Yeah, hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out? Spend the afternoon here working for free? <laughs> just why not? fuck it, why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh. She, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Ooh. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. I love can you, we Michael. just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. We, we don't have to go to the Where'd that question about our father come from? Oh, I don't know. It was a weird thing to ask, I guess. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Be alone. We'll be here. We love I know, you. Mwah. But I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. He's a bro. <laughs> me, Let's huh? drag him into it. Well, we need to get the store closed, so go give him a hand. He's a bro. We're dragging him into it. Haha. <laughs> now, where's the storage room? Oh, worm? All right. I already counted there. But I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? Just clowning. I'm bad. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. Alright. Go to the back of the room and uh tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye aye. Molto bene. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Back of the room, Molto Bene. Uh, no, that's not it. That's bleach. Don't know where the sauce is. Is this it? Why am I standing here looking at this? Uh, no, that's not it. It's further back, maybe? It's toilet paper. That's flour. Where's the tomato sauce, dude? Remind me where I'm going, and, uh, what am I supposed to be counting? Back of the room. And we're looking for molto bene tomato sauce. Back of the room. I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Let's try over here. I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Cheddar dip? Uh, 
Yuck. Okay. <laughs> Your sister loves that shit. She eats it straight out of the jar. Oh, God. Why am I standing here looking at this? Those are more boxes. Where the fuck? Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? We could use some of that at the house. Wood varnish. Why am I standing here looking at this? Baby dippers. I wonder what's in that box. Uh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I, I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. It's all, where the fuck is the tomato sauce? You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. You've been sniffing the spray paint, Tyler. Hmm. Kung Fu Panda. Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? The hell is I this? mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so. Yikes, that's unsettling. <gasps> is that the mangy muskrat? Fucking mine! A thing! All my homies love things. Where the fuck is the tomato sauce? It's the back of the room. Where it, this is the back of the room. Oh fuck. Kill me. Hold on. Let me count this. Four, eight, six, six plus eight. Like 12 cans? What do you mean like 12 cans? In the game of inventory, be accurate or be obsolete? One, two, three, Damn it. Four, five, well then, six, I guess seven, it's 14. Eight, nine, Look, ten, I'll let that one slide 12, just because 14. it's you. Okay. Let's say you do on the next one. I'll have to I actually count, count the bottles of bleach like for me. On it. Bleach is over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, mm -hmm. you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What? Alright, what do you want? What you want, broski? What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Sexy little man. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? I yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? It's beautiful. Honestly? I'd eat this. It's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Oh, maybe a little bit. But, I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. I would straight up so rip this, this up and then shove it So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing it. your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. My ear hurts. All right. Anything else you wanted me to- You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Uh, can I take one? Can I have one? So... You've got about six left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Eight. Mad Hunter. Mad Hunter. Ouch, Mad what Hunter. the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Ooh, tactical roll, tactical roll. Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Oh, right in the face.
Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Change cover. Boom. Got him. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. I'm gonna tell Allison you said that. Uh, she's usually stuck in the office. Besides, your sister, while a hottie, isn't my type. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Vecchi. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. Do we keep them? Third one. Called your sister hot. You gonna take that? Absolutely not. She's disgusting and ugly. Nobody fucks my sister. Oh. <laughs> right in the face. Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit yeah, during breaks. Oh grotto. Ah, That's a good one. All right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Have some snacky. Oh, you see that container? That's for you. Huh? What? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned mm -hmm. marinade. I love That's you, please marry actually me. super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, we'll have to fix that. I'm in love with you, Tyler. Please marry me. I mean, Michael. I'm in love with both of them. I'm a fucking homosexual. So what's popping? I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle God, Tess is in front fucking of the customers, homophobic. she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but... You ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've Damn. been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. I mean, what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. Never met the right person. I've never really been with anybody. I guess I was too busy processing trauma or whatever. Are we but gay? If I met a guy I was into, who knows? Lonely around here. Do you ever get lonely? Tyler's in Dallas probably Crossing? gay. Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Anyway, gay rights. Anyway. No way. You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah, <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. What happened, Corona? And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? <laughs> we took two hits before going to the show, and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor. Oh, not damn. Not our finest hour. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? Tyler's but Allison said you. she was. Well... Our mother never actually told us, 
but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, Aww. figures. That lady is thorough, and she loves you like crazy. Aww, I know. She does care. So, yeah. She just uh, doesn't like to show it. You were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. Gay rights. You're pretty all right. <laughs> You're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Let Especially around Michael. guys I'm trying to impress. Ooh! So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. Be homosexual uh, with me, Michael. I've got a community Fuck there. me. Could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Do you it. have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. He's right about that. It pulled me out of yeah. the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? No. Of course. I mean, Shoot. yes. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I I want to get to know you. Because I'm just he's that fascinating, huh? He's, he's gay for us, come Honestly, on! Honestly, yeah. Fuck me, Michael. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. I'm in love with you. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell, too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut it's up. Cat's I've got pajamas. way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. Oh my god, we're falling For in sure. love. We're falling in love. Ah! I'm interested in. I might be. Things yeah. are going too good. Everything's gonna go to <clears throat> shit. Oh. Hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We're gonna fuck Michael. We're gonna marry him. He's gonna fuck us. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, he's so in love with him. Here we Michael's are. so in love with us. He's all over us. I could tell. Ah, I remembered things were gonna go to shit. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> all right. Hope we keep playing as Tyler. Like Allison's cool, but Tessa I Tessa should be at her parents' Tyler. grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. It feels like when we're. I'm gonna go check in with we're my not uncle. playing is always more angry. Good luck. For real. Like chill, just think things through. It's fine. Oh, we're gonna play as her, aren't we? Oh, thank God we're playing you as my boy. Spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Why do you think a skeleton's gonna Especially pop out? After. Skeleton? You know. I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool? What is that? That's a symbol. That's an arrow. So, <gasps> yeah, boy. do you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, He's playing with except the Eddie's airplane, mom. Probably. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. She's In here. Spiritual. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She knew some people here, definitely. She loved us. A lot. 
Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. She was scared of the Dark Hunter dude. Fucked up evil Nightmare Hunter. Uh, I'm sorry, this is probably super racist. It's a joke about uh, Native, Native American <laughs> customs, because that's probably what that is. Lost. Celebrating life. Don't get, don't get sick. Stop it. Put on more layers. Stop wearing jeans out in the fucking snow. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branchy? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Ben. Short and simple. I like it. Come on. There's only a handful left. She's definitely up there. I don't- I wanna explore a little bit. I wanna see what that blue thing is! What's with the blue thing? Oh, someone loved her. Who's this? De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. That's an eagle. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. She's at our mom's grave, isn't she? Really have to go, Eddie. You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. But she yeah, is up there. Exactly. Ooh, a plaque. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. A bunch of graves are probably dug up or something. <laughs> Who is over here? Oh, this is Michael, okay. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. You okay, dude? Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So? Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. <laughs> I love you, really Michael. Here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You <laughs> old yeah, news ugly. lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, yeah, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. A place. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Eh, shoot.
What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the Thank memory you. of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. Oh yeah, a bunch of graves probably got vandalized. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's that say works. you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. Thank God. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? I already got this. Fuck. May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. Stop bugging you. That's all. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. That's it. So, how are you, um, holding up? All my family is back east, so. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. <laughs> Funny how you never <laughs> mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, she I didn't just know. thought I'd surprise you. We haven't seen each other in ten years, so she didn't know. She's always been jealous because I got the looks. Yeah, but I got the brains. So. Oh man, you two are such a pair. Oh no, you have two brain cells compared to my one. Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Dude is gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? Boring sounds Kick it so open. good right now. Oh. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Do you remember where she is? No. I mean, for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time. There's Tessa. Totally gone. At least this time no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Let's find out. I'm trying my best I to be quiet I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to okay. get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be... But I'm... I did come back. Be back soon, alright? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids. We did end up okay. It's about to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not today. What's over here? Let me see. <laughs> More graves. 
butler. Ew. This spot's familiar. Just careful. Man, I forgot how hard Mary and Toby when Eddie's mom died. Well, we were only four. But, yeah. She lost one of her only friends. Yeah, she was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. About ten years. He could still be here. I don't want to talk to Tessa yet. She's homophobic. Ty. I'm just playing the fucking victim card. Yeah, what's this, up? This is it. Right. Yeah. God, I, I think I need a- No dice. That is Tessa up there, right? Yeah, that's definitely her. This isn't it. It's gotta be one of these. Not hers. Why can't I rem- Where is she? Oh. There she is. Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. Kids, I, I, I wasn't I expecting wasn't to see. Up here, up there. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to to- Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by, and over the years she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her, and the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was 
better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she'd just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened Sam between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I don't forgive you. Plus, you're homophobic. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. You're homophobic, no. I have no. to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? Are you really ready to forgive her? I think she regrets what she did, but I, I totally understand if you don't want to see her anymore. It's your call. This is a tough one. This is a tough one because it does seem she's genuinely sorry. And she has learned that, you know, like, conversion therapy is bad. Because she did say, I didn't know what they did back then, but I do now. Like, we were like, Tyler was like, do you know what they do to people in conversion therapy? And she's like, I do now. Like, she knows that's bad. Everyone always acts like calling social services is the worst thing you can do, but sometimes the kids do need to be taken out of the homes, and if you're genuinely concerned with the kids' safety, then maybe they should be taken out. <sighs> Fuck, I have to forgive her. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we nice. have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids... I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She You're always homophobic said you two were the even only more. I'm gonna I'm gonna take had. that back. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. <laughs> I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. It, it seems it seems like she is making a turning point in trying to understand and accept um, LGBT people. So that was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. Yeah. I feel like a total ass right now. Probably feels the same, yeah. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are going to be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. <laughs> awkward as hell. You want to sit? Okay, let's sit. It does feel good, view, though. Right? 
Yeah. Having having I get them now why they put cemeteries mind. in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know? You're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You need time to heal. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, alright? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. Aww. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You <laughs> I hear? forgot Tyler for sure. was gonna be a ranger. Anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. I love you, Tyler. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Ariane was done with Delos. I think for me it feels like I haven't her. like chosen any bad options. I feel like I've chosen pretty good options. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa, or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she, she. I, don't, I feel like it's not that. Though. Gave up, but killed her kids. Really? I don't know. Exactly. Something missing. It still feels like there's something missing, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta talk to Sam. We gotta do it. You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. Well, we have another episode in this game, so... I don't think we're done yet, Allison. I'm sorry. It's probably always going to feel that way. Oh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You'd better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. What? I'll get the fire extinguisher. <gasps> Matt Hunter. Tyler, are you all right? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. Hmm. Thinking of OG. <clears throat> trying to think. Like, I don't have any more theories. What happened? <sighs> There, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Mad hunter. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. 
So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Did he really have to smash everything? Asshole even dumped the drawers. Ooh, a thing! At least you were spared. God, we really turned this place upside down. Crowbar. Or axe? One of the two. Crowbar! I guess we know how he made the hole. And since it's been burned, it's weakened. Step back. I'll be fine. She's gonna hit in the face with a piece of wood. Ooh, secret box. Who built this place? Well, I only know one Fucking person that one who bothered dude. to decorate a storage box like this. Sam? Marianne. His name was Sam, right? Let's open it. It's the same Sam. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. And I... Two thieves. Princess Party. Loses her name. Mad Hunter. Wait, look, it's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, secret keeper. All right, <clears throat> it's story time. The goblins earn their voice. Once upon a time, in the deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblins spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. How, said the first goblin, does she get people's secret? Do you suppose she peels open their heads? Let's find out, said the second. And so the goblins... Wa Hi, Mel! Here comes Melody. It's story time! I'm, play I'm, play I'm playing... I'm playing... Fucking, um... Tell me why. It it's story time, though. And so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the stalwart moose came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault. I chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into the stalwart moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose. For the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. After a few minutes, the stalwart moose blinked. I feel lighter, said the moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The stalwart moose nodded and plodded along down the trail. Uh, he spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently and the moose was carry forced to carry on because they were not doing anything obviously bad. I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So the goblins approached the secret keeper. Secret before she could stow away the moose's secret. I'm not good at speaking. We want to buy the moose's secret. What do you have to trade? She asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver-handled hand hairbrush that they stole from the princess. The secret keeper nodded, and that's how the goblins came to know that the moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more, so the goblins followed the secret keeper hoping to find where she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed to a high spruce tree that disappeared into a misty sky. They reached out and managed to dip their hands into the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories, and they snatched their hands back out. As if they had just been thrust into boiling waters. Trees poured, Tears poured down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secret seed, the secret keeper. Give them back. The crafty goblin stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange, they asked. 
I will give you back the silver-handled hairbrush, offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets? Pshaw, you'll have to offer more than that. What if, said the secret keeper, I showed the gift of voice? No mother, tell me why speedrun, go, go, go. No! <laughs> the crafty goblins grew excited. That will do, so the secret keeper shared the gift of voice with the goblins, and immediately they found they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. Crafty goblins gave back the secrets they had and ran back to the wooden house. There they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was blank. They tried to speak to her using their own, only their own minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed that the secret keeper was craftier than crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other, not the whole of the forest. And that is how the goblins stole the gift of voice from the secret keeper, but why they could only use it with each other. Finding anything? Just give me a sec. We were- That was goblins earn their voice. Frog is punished. Goblin sabled beaver. I think we just need to break the lock. There must be something in here we can use to get it open, and preferably without destroying the box. This is the symbol. I think we just need to break the lock. There must- No. We need numbers. What was it on? 47. It was on page 47. It could be that. Hmm. something yeah, in here I we can use to get it open and preferably without destroying the box he went looking under the rug I think we're gonna have to bust it open I can't figure this out Liars. I would love to but this seems out of my puzzle yeah, range that'll break a lock Let's not waste time. Yeah. Brain doesn't work. I'm sorry, guys. No thoughts head empty. Also, this is very dark. I need to turn up my brightness and contrast. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I need think I chase after all the new girls in Delos Crossing. I've only always taken my vows seriously. But something changed something changed when I met you. When we're off together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart. Yes, I I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Fuck. That's rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel... This, this guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. What? Even though Don't she wanted to keep us. fucking spoil it before I finish reading it! I know you'd make... I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't doubt you will someday, but right now I have to be sure we don't ruin th three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But I'm mostly worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. Fuck. That's everything. What the Sam? Hell? Sam was the guy with so, the beard. Marianne who helped hid us a out box earlier. under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. This let the letters. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to so get rid of what was hunter. inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... 
I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This Went is down where I this way. Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops, no turns, trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah, that must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Footprints. We could probably follow them. There was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, I saw... Who the hell did I actually... The Mad Hunter! Damn. What? No. That... That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night... I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? It's been 10 they years were wearing ago. the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on. Do you feel that? Hmm. Over here. Thinking emoji. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock. About us. We need to know if it was the same guy. Ain't what if it's not but that memory? A what if Ain't it's... nothing but a mistake. I can't do that again. Tell me why. I never wanna hear you say. But do we really? I mean, I someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, that and that way. means we've got to be close Sorry, to something. Sorry, I'm ruining a dramatic moment right now. I'm not going on that dock. That's it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna break her heart by After saying After what it. I did for you, you're really gonna say no to this? Well, no, but I just Slightly can't keep dick. doing this. Every time we think we understand, something new pops up. This might be our only shot to figure out who our father is. Who gives a shit about that asshole? I have a father, and I almost lost him because you won't stop. Don't blame me because Chief Brown fucked Marianne over. We need to know the truth. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How... How... How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear, I didn't just say that to you. That was so like we can't recording. even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. It's their I'll dad it. fucking with them. Let's go. We can do it.
You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. Don't want mom to catch us out of bed. I told you, I told you that would happen. We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. Focus. Shut. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Can't keep repressing it. memory. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. Sneaky goblins. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? Allison might be more traumatized than we thought. Okay. Let's see. Tyler felt relied on when Allison chose his memory at the house. Community. Most people chose Tyler. Ooh, my friends. 50-50 split. Tyler didn't feel heard about needing time when Allison accepted the house showing. 33% accepted the appointment. I'm like, fuck the house! We're moving anyways! Allison felt hopeful about becoming a family when Tyler forgave Eddie. Yeah, he was trying his best. Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. Michael was heartened by Tyler's compliment. We're gonna fuck... We're gonna fuck Michael. We're gonna let him peg us. Tessa felt grateful the twins kept their hair in their lives. She was homophobic, but fuck, she was, she was working on it. Ooh, chapter three. There's something else. 
Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. Interesting. I am not going to play chapter three tonight. I have been at this for almost three hours. I need sleep as well. It's 10 right now, so, you know, PM. That is.